Welcome to Touch Edit's tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to cover working in portrait. It is assumed that you watch the tutorials for landscape, so the features that are common to both landscape and portrait won't be covered. Portrait is generally used for editing audio tracks and trimming video. The tracks in portrait resemble other timeline based nonlinear editing systems. Below the film strip is a track representing the exact same video as seen in the film strip. Below the video track are the eight tracks of audio. The video and audio tracks can be pinched to show more or less of the sequence. Let's tap the patch bay button. The patch bay is used to assign audio tracks. The green buttons are the source and the blue buttons are the record. You can hold and drag the buttons to patch source and audio tracks to whichever record track you want. You can hit reset to return the patch to its default state. If the source track is off and the record track is on, it will cut over black or leader. There are two sets of gestures to make insert and overwrite edits in portrait. If the source side is active, drag up from the film strip to the record monitor. The bottom of the record monitor performs overwrite and the top insert edits. If record side is active, drag from the source monitor down to the film strip. Left of the picture head performs an insert edit and the right an overwrite edit. Of course, grease pencil marks can also be used. When you are in the basic edit mode in portrait, which is indicated by the buttons being only blue, you can use the trim function. Double tap on a cut point on any of the tracks and you will see arrows on each side of the line. You can activate this on more than one cut, but only if the cut points are at the same point in time. This will take frames from one side of the cut and give them to the other side of the cut and is very useful in making L cuts. You can watch your cut while in trim mode. Double tap again on the cut point when you are finished. While in double arrows you can tap to one side of a cut point to change to a single arrow which will perform ripple trims. This either lengthens or shortens one side of the cut and thus changes the duration of the sequence. Be careful not to lose your sync on audio tracks that are downstream in your edit. You can always do an add edit through your tracks before you ripple to help keep sync. When you are ready to set volume levels, just tap the mixer button. Be sure to save frequently.